Hey there, Libra. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. And I'm going to be pulling you a couple of cards here for December 2020. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for your loving comments uh, and your support. Also, too, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Nicole for allowing me to come on here for a um, a bit to pretty much just introduce myself and say hello. So let's just see, Libras. All right, what's going on with all of you? I hope you're all doing well. I hope you are all doing safe here. All right, this could have to do with love, friends, finances, lack thereof, uh, you know, family, anything like that. So just take what you can and I guess leave the rest behind. So Libra, uh, for those that may be unfamiliar, uh, you are an air sign. So let's just get right on into it. Uh, let's just get to the good stuff. Let's get to love here. All right. Also, too, you have the same ruling planet as I do, Venus, there. So uh, when we're talking about Venus, I believe we were discussing last month, you know, it's like uh, a very hot planet. So and that's no surprise when it comes to our air signs out there. You know, um, I was trying to do these without the cards and it's just like, all right. I'm going to get rid of the word trying. So anyways, you're too hot to handle. People can't deal with it. And that's just that. All right. Air signs other than yourself. You could be working with Libra, 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 Aquarius. Also to possibly maybe even Libra, Gemini as well. So it may seem like, uh, and again, you're all in different areas. Some of you are single. Some of you are in that should I stay, should I go relationship, uh, possibly already in a committed relationship, maybe just checking in on finance or the kids or whatever it may be or what's next or <laughs> okay so let's see what's the first one we have here all right love makes the difference all right on the bottom here it says love can help heal past hurts and provide a sense of security self-worth and importance and uh you know, we're not going to dwell too much on the past here. And it's just like, Carolyn, we need to kind of go over it because the past keeps calling me, girl. <laughs> All right. Um, again, this reading is not gender specific. Uh, so pretty much it's just like this. All right. How do I put this? Uh, all right. Well, let's just go over the card first. And it, it's just like... Something again, something to do with down south, maybe uh, if you do live in the United States, possibly something to do with Florida, possibly something to do with, uh, you know, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, uh, maybe even Virginia. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, this could also have to do possibly this is down somewhere in the uh, New or maybe New Orleans too. New Orleans. All right. Uh, so we have if we look in the background here, we have it looks like they've gone fishing or something like that in this really rickety old school wooden uh, like canoe boat or whatever. All right. And uh, OK, so I don't know if maybe you did this in the past. Maybe you think about doing this. I don't know if this has to do with like children. I, I, I don't know. Uh, what this has to do with love, we're going to get into it in a bit. Something to do with uh, a southern area or a, a place that is uh, prevalent for having, you know, uh, marshes, swamps, you know, wetlands, stuff like that, possibly maybe preserving uh, something like that. I'm envisioning somebody here uh, going on a boat with somebody, possibly maybe even on a date, or maybe you have to get somewhere and it's just like we can only get there by boat. <laughs> and it's almost like, all right. We're going to need a bigger boat here, honey, because I feel like, you know, uh, what's going on out there. All right. Uh, and the uh, the trees are so dense, the forest area, the swamp area, it's so dense. You know, uh, this is almost like going into a new world, if you will. All right. Where the trees cover uh, up the whole area. I'm envisioning this boat going down this creek, this um you know, river, whatever it may be. And, you know, the further you go on deeper into the this wooded area or swamp area, I'm not sure that the darker it gets because the trees get so thick, you know, uh, the greenery, shrubbery, whatever out there gets so thick, you know, you can see the sunlight here and then it starts to kind of disappear, even though it's still day, still bright out, but you're, you're, you've gone on in, you know, and uh, also to something about uh, a fork, 
two trees, right? There's two trees right here, almost like you pass by, and it's just, I don't know if it's uh, kind of like a peninsula type or like a, an island type, but it's just like a little island there, like two trees right there, and it's just like, all right, just going straight past that. Something off to the left. I'm not exactly sure what that's about. Uh, however... Um, yeah, what does love have to do with it? That that trusting, and it's just like you've had to do the work, you know, internally, also externally too. We're all going through interesting times right now, all right. And uh, what really stands out to me is on this card here. So you could have uh, fresh water, and then you got the sea water right here. So whatever this was or uh, something that you are searching for, something that you've been looking for too, uh, something possibly to do reconnecting, maybe uh, if you were adopted or, you know, maybe uh, how to give your child up for adoption. I don't know, or possibly maybe, I, I, I don't know, but uh, it's looking for that or looking for possibly like that lost, uh, uh, a childlike essence, um, like growing up too fast, having to grow up too fast and people just don't really seem to get you. All right. Uh, and this is wonderful. It, you, you see the imagery right here where she's just like, hmm, looking out into the distance, out in the sea. The sea's kind of storming a little bit. However, it does look a bit glamorous. You've got, you know, glitter and all this stuff going on here. It's like, is it going to storm? Is it going to be this? Is it going to be that? Who cares? Because I've already been through it and, um, uh, Almost like this robotic sensation. You hear the tone of my voice, how monotone it sounds. Uh, some of you could also be working with maybe uh, earth signs, maybe uh, Capricorn, maybe Virgo, possibly even Taurus when it comes to love. And it, it's just like this. Am I ever going to get over this person? Maybe you're like, all right, I've already gotten over that person, even though it hurt like hell. Uh, is this person ever going to get over me? Are they going to quit stalking me? Uh, that could be it too. Possibly, again, that's not to frighten or scare anyone. I'm just the messenger here. All right. Also to uh, something to do once again with ducks. Hunting. Maybe you've dealt with a hunter or maybe you're hunting for that perfect uh, man or a perfect woman. Or maybe uh, it's just like somebody's like hunting you down as far as that's game game on i'm gonna i'm gonna get her get him and it's like wait a second here who do you think you are maybe if you have gone through a breakup all right um it's just like people seem to think that uh just because you went through a tough time that it's okay a okay for them to weasel their way on in and try to be like master manipulators here and and you know it, it's just like please you know i'm not that stupid all right uh, also too some of you could be working uh with a, a musician of some kind or possibly you yourself are going into the music industry or working on your uh, career there. All right. Uh, something to do with horns here, uh, a French horn, also to old time uh, record player. Maybe uh, I don't even want to say DJs. I, I, I call anyone out there artists, you know, that because that's what it is. All right. Uh, also, too, I feel like that this duck here. We're going to look further into that, but it's just like, okay. Love does uh, heal past hurts, whether it's loving yourself, forgiving yourself. Uh, and I understand how hard it can be to forgive others. And I'm not saying you have to go out there and be Mother Teresa or anything like that. You know, um, however, if someone has done something to you that is so awful and so unforgivable because... There is stuff like that out there that does exist, unfortunately, you know, uh, hand it over to whatever it is that you believe in that only has your positive uh, best interests at hand. Like, take the wheel. I can't even because I'm going to crash this car into something, you know, because they're getting me going here. <laughs> OK, so you are going to be finding that love. You really do not need anyone. You do not need that validation. And I'm not saying at all, you know, uh, I've got Libra all over the breakdown of my chart here. So it's just like. You want to find that true love. If you aren't in a relationship, when's this person going to arrive? You have your choices too, Libra. I've said this multiple times for all the air signs, especially. All right. They do not have to uh, 
it's like feast or famine. However, it, it's all these X's from the past, the woulda, coulda, should have. Not saying that people can't change. Absolutely, yes, people can change. All right. Um, you you needed this time for yourself. Even if you are in a committed relationship, it's like you needed that little break, even if it's just for, you know, a few minutes or a couple of days, um, you know, or possibly feeling like that separation thing, like, is this person uh, bored of me? Or are they thinking maybe you're getting that finger pointer? Who are you lying on me? Who are you cheat on me with? I know, I know, because, and it's just like, wait, uh, what are you talking about? I've actually been trying to work on a project and necessarily didn't want to talk about it. And you turn it into this whole, you know, song and dance of me, like doing deceptive things behind closed doors. I mean, maybe for somebody out there, I'm not sure, but I'm not seeing it really like that. It's like, when is this going to stop? And it, it's almost that numbing feeling. Also, too, you may be uh, working with somebody with possibly an addiction issue as well, or a, and it's just like you see, you're very intuitive. You see what's happening here. It's like an old game that can't be played uh, with you or somebody else is like saying like your games aren't going to work on me. All right. So let's look a little bit further into December 2020. I hope you all have a happy holiday. If you do celebrate the holidays, if not, you know, that's uh, all I want for all of you out there. I truly uh, happy, healthy, successful, abundant, and, you know, successful relationships. Let's see what signs you could possibly be on the lookout for. Somebody here is uh, also to dyeing their hair blonde or getting the low lights or the blonde and the black streaks underneath or or possibly that uh, mermaid look, which I think would be uh, completely awesome here. Also to somebody with a beard. What are they? No shave November. I feel like for some of my Libras out there, uh, it's just like, okay, they've got what it takes. However, they're a little bit rough around the edges, but I like that. And uh it's almost like, well, let's fix them up a little bit. Not saying that there's anything wrong with enhancing your looks. Honey, please, I'm no one to talk. <laughs> All right. Uh, however, it's just like maybe you didn't look at someone the way that uh, they normally represent themselves. And we can't necessarily judge a, a book by its cover just because, um, you know, some some burly man out there with a beard, like no shave November and and, you know, maybe a bit rough around the edges. I mean, they might clean up a little little bit good you know what I'm saying it, their morals seem pretty good uh, so that's wonderful out there possibly it's just like Carolina I'm here to find the the woman of my dreams all right maybe you've got that beard or something something to do with that going on so we have the king of swords right here all right when we're talking swords again air signs and from what I understand from what the consensus say feel free again to drop comments below what signs have worked with well with you what signs haven't signs you may be curious about uh, air signs seem to typically work well together however everybody is different you know again uh, could be a Libra 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 Gemini Libra Aquarius here and it's just like this some there's a water sign too that's really jealous i don't know who this is coming through uh but this person is very confident here could be you could be the other air signs or possibly maybe even not only a uh, pisces but a cancer or scorpionic energy coming on in and there's something to do with a leo right there as well a very prominent aquarius too uh so let's see what does any of this mean carolyn let's just get to the point here somebody has their eye on you and they're seeing what's going on here i mean look at him he just has his like hand on his hip like that and with his sword just put into the ground with that smirk on his face him her it, it could be again not gender specific you know just pick up what energies uh wh whatever works for you they're sitting on their throne and they're just like <laughs> this could also be a past love one too that's looking out for you looking over you like uh oh my gosh i can't believe that uh you know this person is so wonderful and uh they're still single because it just does not make sense to me however you uh real you're single for a reason and it's a good reason because you could possibly what would have wound up in a bad relationship looking back like why did i get myself into this mess possibly getting yourself out of that mess you know uh and it's just like you you deserve the best all right and there is somebody out there for you all right uh 
the, the, the thing is, if we start chasing something, you know, not saying that any of you are doing that, absolutely not. However, when we start chasing something and we start focusing too much on that particular area, we kind of chase it away. You know, people may be like, I'm loving this because especially, uh, you know, for December and for the upcoming future here, you've got someone that has their eye on you and they're just like, who do they think they are? But I'm liking this energy, you know, it's just like, wow, the nerve, the audacity, but I love it. I wish I could be brave enough to say something like that type of, you know, they admire you. And I'm really somebody here who has their stuff together, too. That never hurts, you know, and everyone does. Maybe not everyone, but people do go through hard times, you know, uh, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with helping people out, however. There is something wrong with people that try to take advantage of that, you know, so be mindful of that. And this person's just like, wow, <laughs> wow, uh, wow. Uh, I can almost picture somebody just like, I don't know, they see a picture of you possibly like on social media or whatever. And <laughs> maybe not in a creepy way. I'm not sure. Maybe they just like have it as their, their background picture or something like that. Uh, so let's see. Let's move um, eight of wands right here. Okay. We have the sheep right here. Reminds me of the sheeple out there. So you're making daring moves. All right. Uh, you will be successful in whatever moves that you make. Uh, this has been a long time coming here. All right. Uh, and this is wonderful. This is fabulous. It's just like, you know what? It was great. I tried to play along with everybody else. Try to be nice. Nothing wrong with that, but I'm not a sheep. It's great to be a part of communities. It's great to get along with others and stuff like that. And if we're fighting or, or, or working towards a cause that is uh, has a positive outcome or if people have your back, yes, absolutely great. However, you're you're not a sheep. You're you're <laughs> you design your own destiny. And that's that. And people seem to really have a problem with that. Again, I will say Libras are some of the most talented artists out there. Musicians, singers, uh, you know, portrait artists, tattoo artists, uh, artists on any level. Underrated, too, which baffles me. You know, uh, however, I'm going to cut this off short here. So remember, you don't have to be a part of the sheep there. People may get upset with you at first because they can't, like, uh, groom you, if, if you will, to whatever they want just for them to take advantage of you later on in life. So that's not your path. And if it was before, cut that cycle, all right? And that's going to be inviting something new and wonderful in here. I cannot wait. Also, too, you could be on the lookout for fire signs uh, significant with wands there aries sagittarius again leos so uh thank you all so much and i will talk to you all later